This video is going to be my Star Wars haul for December 2022. Let's jump right into it. Hey everyone, my name is Christopher, welcome to Seriously Star Wars. On this channel I do weekly Star Wars reviews and I also do monthly Star Wars haul videos just like this one. So if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Alright, so as I mentioned, this is going to be my Star Wars haul video for December 2022, and it's going to include everything that I got during Christmas 2022, which was just last weekend there. So, um, yeah, I've got a lot of stuff to go through, so let's get started. The first few items I picked up for myself uh, in, in December 2022, um, I picked up off of Facebook Marketplace, off of a seller that was selling their entire Star Wars Funko Pop collection, so... At this point, I think they still have a bunch of Funkos that they got to sell, so I'm uh, chances are I'll probably be going back and buying some more Funko Pops. But for now, I picked up uh, three Funko Pops that I didn't have in the collection. One was a, an individual Funko Pop, the other two are three packs. So uh, the first of the three Funko Pops I picked up was the Princess Leia from The Last Jedi. Uh, it's a Walmart, Walmart exclusive. I don't have this one in the collection. I, I missed it when, it when it initially came out. And it's one I've been looking for for a while, just waiting for waiting to pick it up at a good price. Because um, this one's been kind of going up and down a bit there. Uh, so pick this one up, I think it was like $12 or something, $8 below retail. So I, I couldn't resist getting this one. Um, the, third, the second one that I got um, is a three-pack, the first of the two three-packs I picked up, which is the uh, Cloud City three-pack. So this one has uh, Lobot uh Ugnaught and uh Bespin Guard in the uh three pack so again this is one that I missed out on initially when I when they first released so happy to add that to the collection and then the uh the last of the three Funko Pops I picked up off of the Facebook seller is the uh the Star Wars three pack I call it the Cantina three pack um let me know in the comments what it's actually called but it's got the uh, retro looking Walrus Man, Hammerhead, and Greedo. So these are going to sit on my display next to the uh, my New Hope Star Wars Funko Pops there. So those will fit in nicely there, I think. But I'll be doing a review on all three of these, so stay tuned for that. The second item I picked up, I picked up at a local collectible store here in Edmonton, uh, Collectorverse. If you guys are in the Edmonton area or if you're living in Alberta, you make the trip up to Edmonton, um, check out Collectorverse. They've got a lot of Funko products, uh, comics, records. Um, they're getting in some statues now. There's one in particular that I, I want to get from there. Um, but the item that I picked up from Collectorverse is a Star Wars soda, the Darth Vader Star Wars soda. Um, so I have four in the collection. I have the Boba Fett Galactic uh, Convention exclusive from this past year, 2022. Um, and then uh, I also have the C-3PO, the Jawa, and the Stormtrooper. So this one's going to sit on that shelf very nicely. I'll be doing a review on Darth Vader, so stay tuned for that. All right, so the next items I picked up, I ordered off of um, Aussie Collectibles in Australia. I ordered it back at the end of November. They came in middle of December, um, maybe like a week before Christmas. So, um, And shout out to Aussie Collectibles. Uh, fantastic uh, packaging. All the pops that I, I ordered from them were in pop protectors uh, and packaged with uh, paper to, to, to stop them from bouncing around. The box wasn't damaged, so um, yeah, huge shout out to them. Their customer service was great. Uh, the only thing, you know, it took, a, it took a little while to ship here. It took like three weeks or something like that, almost a month to get here, but um, I don't blame Aussie Collectibles for that. That's uh, the, the postal service in the UK and Australia right now and also cl getting closer to the holidays and stuff like that so um, that's not Aussie Collectibles fault so I, I will be ordering some more Funko Pops from them but the ones I did order from them are these six here so I have uh, Costco Reeves number 489 I got a uh, more off from Rogue One and then I got three of the uh, power of the galaxy Funko Pops so I got uh, Padme Amidala number 525 Jin Erso, number 555, uh, Princess Leia, number 565, and then the uh, Life Day Chewbacca, uh, number 576. And these are all, um, if I'm not mistaken, I think they are. They all came in and they all have a uh, 
a variant of the special edition sticker. Um, and the, the GameStop, no, sorry, the uh, the Costco Reeves was like a, a specialty edition sticker or something, specialty series sticker. The uh, Power of the Galaxy ones and the uh, um, the more off one were Amazon exclusives, and then the uh, the Life Day Chewbacca was a Disney shop shop Disney exclusive. So um, you can get them other at other retailers with the special edition sticker. I opened them up anyway, so I don't really care about the sticker. But I will be doing a review on all six of these, so stay tuned for that. The next items I picked up, I picked up at Hot Topic uh, about a week before Christmas while I was out doing some Christmas shopping. Um, I went, I was in a Hot Topic. I saw these on sale. Um, they 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 were marked down to seven dollars each. Then they were also buy one get one free. So I picked up four of these. Four of these Book of Boba Fett mystery magnets. Um, so you got an op you got a chance of getting like one of six different magnets here with the uh, the exclusive, which I believe is like um, chrysanthemum. I believe that looks like silhouette there. So really excited to open these up. I'll be doing a video on these as well. So stay tuned for that. And now getting into everything that I got for Christmas 2022. So this is the the Christmas haul portion of my December Star Wars haul. Um, so the first items, um, not not in any particular order in which I unwrapped them or anything, but the first couple items, like they were in my stocking. Um, the first one is this so Sabak um, shaped playing cards deck. Um, very cool looking deck. Um, the box looks pretty, pretty retro with that brown and the, the orange color font there. Um, they're pretty cool looking, so the, the box just kind of opens up like that. And then you get these sabak shaped Star Wars cards. They all say Star Wars on the side or on the back side with the uh, kind of like a sabak symbol of some sort on the back side. And then the front side, you got the different suits. So you got the two jokers, you got the spades, which are green. And again, all sabak shaped with different symbols on them. Um, then you get into the hearts and stuff. So pretty cool looking, uh, deck of cards here. So very nice addition to my Star Wars, uh, playing cards collection. Cause I do have some playing cards in my collection. Um, but yeah, the, these are the Sabacc, um, the Sabacc shaped playing cards that I got in my stocking. And then the next item I got in my stocking uh, that was Star Wars related is this little um, The Mandalorian, the tiny book of Grogu. And it is tiny. If you take a look at that, it is just so tiny. Um, just for something for scale purposes, here is the Darth Vader Funko Soda. If we pull that back, it's maybe like half the size of the can there. So it is, it is a tiny little book here. And it is a book. It is an actual book. So you can pull that, you pull that out like that and then you got like the the cover on both sides it says uh the book the tiny book of grogu there with some symbols on it um and then you got like little little images of grogu of our little guy throughout the mandalorian se series with uh with some little stuff little little um tidbits about grogu there so it's a very cool little stocking stuffer, very tiny. Um, that's gonna go sit on my my bookshelf there for sure. But that is the uh, that is a tiny book of Grogu that was in my stocking. The next items here I I got from my sister in law for Christmas. Um, so she got me um, a couple of these bookends. So the first one is Darth Vader. He's using the Force. Um, you you put the book on there. It looks like he's making the Force uh, stand up on its own there. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then the other item, one of the other items she got me was uh, the Yoda bookend as well. Uh, same thing, just facing the other way. They're, they're not a set because they're two different colors, but um, they will look really awesome displayed with a, a book on there. Um, I'll, I'll probably take a picture and post it to Instagram when I have these on the shelf at some point. But uh, those are the first couple items. Um, if you want to get these, they, they came from Hallmark. My sister-in-law works at Hallmark, so um, she was able to get me a bunch of Hallmark stuff this year. Um, the next item 
items that she got me as well um, from Hallmark. A couple sets of Christmas ornaments. These are, what are they called? The Rebel Alliance and Galactic Empire um, Star Wars ornaments. Little little metal ornaments there. So the two sets of those. Uh, and then she also got me a Darth Vader A New Hope um, ornament there. This one, I guess, talks to some of the other ornaments. Um, I do have the Death Star sitting up on my shelf here. Um, haven't actually used it, so I'll, I'll probably end up doing a, re a full review of like the the Death Star and uh, and maybe all these ornaments at some point. I'm not too sure when I'll do that. Maybe closer to uh, next Christmas. Um, but yeah, no, this was uh, one of the other items that she got me. And then she picked me up a few, uh, or uh, sorry, a couple of these Sponge holders, uh, I think, is what they are marketed as. Um, I'm, I'm going to open these up and, like, put them on my desk to hold, like, some small items and stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, they're, they're both Mandalorian-themed. They both have, like, Grogu. Um, yeah, I think it's just Grogu on these things. Little little cutouts of Grogu, the Mandalorian symbol. Um, so the, these were a couple other items that my sister-in-law got me. And then another item she got me from the... Uh, from the Hallmark store she works at is another, is like a desk, I guess it's a desk calendar is what you would call this, a uh, Death Star, Death, Death Star desk calendar, it's got, it's got the words, this will be a day long remembered along the, uh, the rim of the Death Star, and then you got, you can change the, the, the month and the day, so that's very cool, that's gonna sit on my desk for sure. Um, so that's what my sister-in-law got me. The next few items I got from my niece, and, uh, she gave me a few items, the first of which she made me a Star Wars Grogu um, snow globe, there, and a Christmas uh, snow globe there, so she, she painted the Grogu and stuck that in there and put all these uh, little snow and uh, I think there's yellow stars that are in there, so that's that's very cool. Then she stuck the sticker on there, so it's, it's one of those like kits that you buy. Um, so yeah, she made that for me, really, ha really happy to have this. This is a very cool gift for sure. Um, so that'll, that'll be going in my Christmas box of Star Wars ornaments and stuff like that. Um, and then she also gave me a C-3PO Mighty's mug, or C-3PO Mighty mug. This is one of the, um, I think the second version of these, because there were two different versions. Um, so this is the one that you push down the head, and it's got a few different faces there. So I do have a Yoda one on my display, um, very cool addition to the collection, so I'll be setting that up somewhere on my display there. And then she also got me, my niece got me some uh, some Star Wars magnets. So we got Grogu there, looking very cool, looking very cute. Uh, the Star Wars logo there, the Boba Fett helmet, very cool. Um, the Mandalorian with uh, the Grogu Pram from that iconic scene on in the first episode, the end of the first episode of The Mandalorian. And then, of course, you got to have Darth Vader. So um, those were the magnets. Those are the items um, that my niece got me for Christmas. Now moving into the item that I got from my mother-in-law. She got me the, uh, the C-3PO. Um, I am C-3PO, in the Inside Story by Anthony Daniels, the book. Um, really excited to have this one though. Um, definitely gonna have to read this one. I heard this one's a, a great, uh, great read. So yeah, definitely gonna read this for sure. Um, so really happy to have this one in my book collection. Um, on the back it, is, it says a little tidbit from the book. It says, I was hooked, forget, uh, I was hooked, forget it was sci-fi, forget Luke and Han and Vader. 3PO was the one for me. So that's very cool. I'm really excited to dig into this book for sure when I got some time. Um, so that's what I got from my mother-in-law. Moving into the gifts that I got from my parents. My parents sent my, my wife and I a, a joint gift. Um, and then for my individual gift, uh, my parents sent me a set of the Mandalorian mini mitts for, the, uh, for use in the kitchen. Um, I'm not sure if I'll use them in the kitchen in fear of getting them all dirty and stuff. But I might. I'm thinking I might use them. Like, you only live once, so I'll probably end up using them. But, yeah, no, these are these are very cool. 
nice uh, nice addition to the collection and uh, I'll you know useful as well so uh, the gloves they say uh, this is more than I signed up for on both gloves both gloves are identical so very nice gift from my parents and then moving into the items I got for my wife for Christmas every year she spoils me with with so much Star Wars stuff um, but uh, and, and this year is no different I, I did get some other items um, that were non Star Wars related that I'm not including in this video but uh, the Star Wars items that um, I got from my wife the first item is a Star Wars watch and these are in no particular order um, this is uh, this is a Stormtrooper watch very very cool looking watch there um, so that's the first item the next item I got for my wife um, something a little different I'm probably not gonna color in this thing but it is a uh, Crayola art with edge uh, Star Wars Mandalorian so you got some neat little um, Star Wars drawings that you can color there and it does come with a little a little poster which I'm not sure maybe I'll get framed maybe I'll hang on the uh, on my closet door beside me but that's the that's a poster so I'll, I'll pro I might get look into getting that framed maybe I'm not too sure um, but yeah it comes with that and then as I mentioned there's like a bunch of different drawings from the Mandalorian that you can color um, but even just in black and white they look really cool um, so that's that's one of the other items I got from my wife um, also from my wife I got the a deck of cards but it's like a trivia game I guess this is a, a trivia deck of cards with different uh, questions on the back there and it's got the Mandalorian and Grogu on the front um, I may end up doing a review on this deck just to kind of uh, in case you are wondering about this one you want to pick it up for yourself like I, I myself love Star Wars trivia um, in my local Star Wars group here we, we have um, we, th during the pandemic we were doing like tri trivia nights and stuff like that um, so this will be kind of fun for doing doing on, in my group there um, but yeah no I, I may end up doing a review on this as well so stay tuned for that as well and this one is actually made by Paladone who I have done some uh, I have reviewed a few of their a couple of their products so far so uh, stay tuned for the review on that the next item also a Paladone item um, it is a Star Wars mug so it's got Star Wars with uh, with the Millennium Falcon and uh, I think an X-wing on the back side I'm not too sure um, have to open it up for to take a look at that I'll probably do a, a little video on this one as well um, so it basically you know cold it looks like that with the uh, with the logo and then the uh, the Falcon shows up in full when it gets heated up so really looking forward to uh, checking this out and adding it on my shelf of uh, Star Wars ceramic cups um, but yeah no this is another gift from my wife the Paladone uh, Star Wars Millennium Falcon coffee mug the next item I got from my wife for Christmas are uh, the set of geeky tiki shot glasses mini muglet four pack is what it says but they're, they're shot glasses um, I will be doing a review on this the box not in great shape but I, I still will be doing a review on on it as well um, I, I got my first geeky tiki back in November did a review on it in December so I'm really excited to add these to my ceramic glass collection um, but yeah I'll be doing a review on these so stay tuned for that the next item I also got from my wife as well like I mentioned my wife spoils me every year um, and this year was no different so this year she got me a couple of these uh, Biddy Boomers they're Mandalorian themed Biddy Boomers um, one is the Mandalorian one is Grogu I will be doing a review on these so stay tuned for that the next item I got from my wife for Christmas is a version of Pictionary Air this is the Star Wars um, version of Pictionary Air so basically you use the Star Wars pen you draw your drawings in the air with uh, using your smartphone and uh, the TV screen you can see the images there um, but very excited to try this out um, and very neat addition to the collection as well so the next items my wife got me for Christmas uh, my wife makes shirts and star and decals for pop culture so including Star Wars um, I'll leave links to both her shops um, and social media down in the, the description below uh, but she made me some shirts for Christmas whole pile of shirts here um, so for those of you who 
are enjoying my different Star Wars shirts that I wear in all my videos. Uh, these are the ones that she gave me for Christmas. So we got Darth Maul, a long sleeve Darth Maul shirt. Um, this one is a, uh, what is this? Woodland Scouts of Endor with the Ewoks on it. Very, very cool. Um, love that. The next one is uh, the Wolf Pack, uh, the 104th Battalion Clone Troopers, the Wolf Pack, with that wolf uh, symbol there behind it. So I actually have two of these shirts in two different colors that she made me. This one with the light blue and the white. Uh, then there's another one here in the pile of shirts as well. Uh, the next shirt that she made me was uh, the Moss Isley Spaceport shirt. Another very nice addition to my shirt collection. You can never have too many Star Wars shirts. Uh, the next one is a Kylo Ren Star Wars shirt. Uh, very nice to have something from the sequels. Uh, love the sequels there. Um, so very, very cool to have that in the collection as well. Uh, the next one, one of my favorite shirts, I think. The uh, I Am No Jedi. Of course, Ahsoka Tano themed shirt. So very excited to have that one. Uh, the next one is a Beskar Metalworks t-shirt. So very cool. I love this color too. So I, of course I'll be wearing all of these uh, shirts in one video or another um, when I film my reviews. So another nice shirt. Absolutely. Very nice shirt. Um, the next one is a, again, another wolf. 104th Battalion Clone Trooper Wolf Pack shirt there. So two different colors for that one. Very cool. And then the last one is a uh, May the Force Be With You, but the Force being the actual, uh, uh, the actual equation for Force. So very cool t-shirt. This is actually one of my favorite ones as well. Uh, so, so some very nice shirts from my wife. And as I mentioned, I'm going to be wearing these in all my videos, up, some of my upcoming videos. So Keep an eye out for them. The next item I got for Christmas from my wife, um, another Star Wars Galaxy collector's box. This one is the uh, Tatooine themed one, I believe is what it is. As you can see, you got different parts of uh, the Mos Eisley spaceport. You got R2-D2 on it, the Jawas, different characters from Mos Eisley. So I will be doing a review on this, so stay tuned for that. The next item my wife got me for Christmas is the Star Wars Obi-Wan Kenobi series Lola animatronic Lola. Um, so this is the uh, I think this is a, the slightly more expensive one because there's one that's like about 30 or 40 dollars Canadian. This one's uh, a little closer to a hundred dollars Canadian. Um, so this one actually comes with the uh, the clear stand there. The body moves back and forth and stuff. You got the option that between the legs or the uh, the flight stand there. So I'll be doing a, a full review on this one. So stay tuned for that. The next item I got for my wife for Christmas, um, I got this Millennium Falcon posable desk lamp. Really excited to have this in the collection. Um, I've seen this at GameStop, um, in person at GameStop here in Canada, and I, I've wanted to pick it up for myself, but just, um, you know, had other, uh, had other things I wanted to buy. You know how being a collector is. Um, so, um, really excited to have this in my collection. I'm going to be having this on my desk after I do a review on it. So I will be, I definitely will be doing a review on this. So stay tuned for that. And the last item I got from my wife for Christmas and probably actually definitely my, my favorite item that I got for Christmas this year is this Wampa Star Wars rug. Um, so this is just like a little throw rug that looks like very similar to like a, a bear skin rug. You know, you got the, the, limbs that stretch out flat onto the floor um so i've wanted one of these for a while now and now that um in our in our apartment here that we're living in right now we have hardwood floors um i've been wanting to get this for like even well i wanted to get the you know, i wanted to get it even more now since we've uh since we moved into this place here um, and my wife got it for me for me for Christmas. I am super excited to open this thing up um, But I will be doing a review on this So I will hold off but stay tuned for the review 
So that does it for my Star Wars haul for December 2022, including all of the the stuff I got for Christmas this past year for 2022. Um, let me know down in the comments what is your favorite item from this month's haul. Uh, and also let me know what you guys got for Christmas, what Star Wars related items you guys got for Christmas. Let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and then click to watch one of my other reviews. Thank you so much for watching and may the force be with you.